Hi everyone and welcome. My name is Deborah from Journey to Wellness and we are going to do a workout today. So today we are going to work the glutes, the butt, and we are gonna work the abdominals. This video is actually taken from a live workout that I did where we did 30 glutes and abs exercises, but I decided to split this up into three parts so that we're gonna have three 10 minute workouts that you get to choose from. So if all you have is 10 minutes and you wanna focus on the glutes and the abdominals, these workouts are gonna be for you. So part one, two, and three with a little bit of glutes and abs in each one. So right now, this is part one of three. So each round is 10 minutes long. We're going to do 10 exercises, 50 seconds on, 10 seconds in between. We are gonna focus on the glutes. We're gonna focus on the abs. So for this first 10, all you need is your body. If you have a set of handheld weights, that's great, but you don't need them. So please remember the original format of this video was a live video. So if you see me kind of moving in and out of the camera a little bit, maybe I'm talking to a couple of my participants, I need you to keep going. You're watching this on the replay. You're gonna have a nice little timer right about here somewhere so that you can follow along and you can watch the countdown. So I want you to enjoy. I'm gonna flip over to the live workout. So if you're ready, we're gonna get started with our first 10 exercises. So let's take our feet about hip distance apart. We're gonna warm up. Hands up at the ears, and we're just gonna squat down and come up. Down and up. Squatting down, not big. And please make sure always when you're in those squats, you're sitting back. If you really wanna target the muscles that we wanna target, you have to make sure your form is correct. So you don't wanna be doing a squat like this, where your knees are shooting forward, okay? You wanna make sure that it's your bum going back, sitting back. That's it. Let's go five, four, Three, and you're allowed to smile this morning because you're up at 8.30 in the morning. Let's do one more. Good, and let's go into jumping jacks. You're happy you're here this morning, right? Yes, of course you are. Really good. We wanna make sure we're nice and warm. If the jumping jacks, it's too much for you first off, you're right here. We're just trying to get the heart rate warm. The heart rate warm. The heart rate up, the muscles warm. <laughs> really good. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, let's bring it down, march it out. Really good. That's it. And let's take the feet wide, a little bit of a wide march. Yeah, so we're gonna target some body parts today. I like some of these exercises, these are pretty good. Hopefully you'll feel the burn today. That's what we're looking for, right? We're always looking for muscle burn. We're not looking for joint pain. Let's take the feet in and out, in, Squat it out, in and out. That's it, good. Four, three, two, and one. Let's bring it in, little tiny squats. Not even as big as what we started with. And let's start moving those arms. So you're squatting back, pushing the arms forward. We're gonna get the shoulders, the chest, and the back. Nice and warm. Good. That's it. You can do this. Take it nice and slow with the warm up, right? You're just building up. You don't have to be completely out of breath at the beginning. If you're already out of breath, I need you to slow it down a little bit, okay? Let's take the feet wide, circle a little bit faster. Let's pump the arms a little bit more. Reach, pull, reach, pull. That's it. Warming up. We want those legs. We want the glutes. Nice and warm. <laughs> That's it. Four, three, two, one. Let's do a squat and a tap. Same arm. Squat, tap, squat, tap. That's it. We're speeding up. Good. Reach and pull with those arms. We want the shoulders nice and warm. Even though we're not gonna do a ton of upper body, we're still gonna be moving our upper body. We still want all everything warm. Let's reach the arms across. It's the legs though that we really want warm today. That's it. Good. That's it, four, three, Two, let's reach up and over, same leg. Squat and tap with the legs, reach up now, reach. 
We're gonna get started here in about a minute. Really get into those muscles. So from here, the first one is a squat with a side kick. So you're just kicking out. You're not turning your knee and flicking your leg out this way. There's a lift, I, and I don't even like calling it a kick. It's a lift, and that way we're gonna warm up those hips, okay? Nice and tall, shoulder blades back and down. We're gonna go 50 seconds in three, two, one, let's go. So it's a squat and a lift. Squat, lift, that's it. So lifting, so almost want you to think about lifting with your heel, as opposed to lifting, just kicking your toes out. That's it. Lift, squat, lift, squat, lift. Good, 30 seconds left. Keep it going. You're still doing a squat properly, and if you have knee issues, and you can't do the squat, right? You can still do the lift part. There's nothing stopping you from doing that, and that's still gonna really work those glutes, because what happens when you come to the side, both sides are getting work. Good, seven seconds, keep going. Good, after this one, you're gonna come down on the floor. We're gonna do a marching bridge. Good, you have 15 seconds. Come down on the floor. Oh, I just realized my shirt matches my mats. I'm sorry <laughs> if you can't see me very well. From here, you're gonna push your hips high. Keep those hips up. Hands off the ground if you can. Right here, let's start marching. So you're gonna lift one knee, opposite knee. Hopefully, can you see that? Can you see me? I have no idea what I was thinking wearing a shirt that matched my mats. Keep going. That's it. Good. So marching. Try not to use your elbows or your hands for balance. You're using your glutes for balance. That's it. Good. Keep going, push those hips up a little bit higher. You should be right up on those shoulders. Not on your neck and your head. You don't want to put all the pressure there. You want the pressure on your shoulders. 15 seconds, keep it going, keep those hips up. Don't let them drop to the floor, you can do this. It's supposed to burn. This is going to be burning. That's it, so this would be a little bit very low back, upper glute, and relax, good, excellent. Let's come to your left side. So you're on your left elbow. We're gonna do a plank, and we're gonna do some hip drops if you can. Three, two, one, so come up. If you're still working on your plank here, that's perfectly okay. Otherwise, I want you to drop down, push up. Drop down, push up. You could be here in a plank with one knee down. That's perfectly okay, all right? Find your level, see what you can do. Let me have a look and see, see if I can see some of those planks. Let's go, get into that plank. You're not allowed to avoid exercises. That's it, hold it up. Do what you can or do the hip drops. That's it. Beautiful. So the next one, we're gonna stand up and you can grab a weight, two, one. Excellent. You can grab a weight if you like, grab two weights. We're gonna stand up, we're gonna do a plie squat, which means you're taking your feet nice and wide, pointing those toes out, standing nice and tall. Don't have to worry about the upright row if you don't want to. And it's down and up, let's go, down and up. Really good, so you really wanna take those feet wide, point the toes out, and you wanna keep your chest up and drop your bum down. So when you're nice and low, these muscles here are doing the work. Keep it going, we are gonna change this up. We're gonna hold it down and there's about 50 seconds left and we're gonna do little pulses. Really good, that's it. Five seconds we're gonna hold, three, two, one, bring it down, hold it there, and now let's do a little pulsing. 10 seconds left. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, stand it up. Keep those weights if you can. We are gonna do curtsy lunges. From here, what you're gonna do is balancing on one foot, you're gonna take the other foot and cross it behind, and then you're gonna sit down into that butt cheek, ready? Bring it together, step behind the other side, drop it down. So you're dropping that back knee towards the floor, and where you wanna feel this work is 
on this front leg here, this glute. That's where you want to feel the pressure. Down and cross. So if you're not using weights, right, you're here. I promise you, this is still working. I still feel that in my glute. Cross behind. And it's not just stepping back, I'm crossing the plane of my body. And up. Down and up. 12 seconds left, keep it going. That's it. Really good. Five seconds. We're gonna lay those weights down in two seconds. Excellent, lay those down. Come on down onto your right side. We move through these strength circuits. We don't take a lot of time. 15 seconds in between each one. At the end of 10, we'll take our break. All right, nice and tall. Ready, right plank, up, holding, or hip drop. That's it. Do what you can do. Good. You're doing amazing. Remember, you have that plank that's here as well. If you wanna hold that one down here. You don't have to do everything exactly as I'm doing it or exactly as anybody else is doing it. You're making this work for you. Perhaps you're just starting to practice on getting up on your feet. That's good. That's where you wanna be. If you've been doing that a while, you can start looking at those hip drops. Straight down, straight up, okay? Find your level, you're doing really good. You have 10 seconds left, keep going. Five seconds, we are gonna stand up again. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Never, ever, ever hold your breath. And relax, good job. Come on back up, please. We are going to do a low squat walk, which means we're gonna take our feet wide, we're gonna get our bum low, we're gonna stay low, and I want you to start walking towards me. Staying low. Keep walking towards me. Now walk back. Really good, but keep low. Don't come up in between. Back as far as you can, I don't wanna hit my doors. And then walk forward. That's it. Good, is anybody else starting to sweat yet? Please don't tell me it's just me. Good, and walk back. So if you need to go side to side, that's okay, right? So this is what it kind of looks like, side, sideways. My bum is low, my chest is up. I'm not here, right? This is not it. You want your bum lower than your chest. Really important, if it hurts the knees, sometimes taking your feet wider might help, or you might just have to come out of it a little bit. That's okay. Walking around, three seconds left. We're gonna get back down on the mat. Good, relax, shake that out. Back down on the mat for bicycle crunches. Back to abs. Bicycle crunches. Depending on how strong your back is, your feet can be close to the floor or can be up nice and high. In two, one, bring the knees up. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Really think about getting the shoulder blade off the ground. If you have lower back issues, bringing your feet higher in the air is probably what you need to do. You're still lifting your upper body, but you're not doing as much work for that lower part, which is gonna take the strain off your back. If it's a little stronger, you can take a little lower. Or you can even bring here, if you're really confident in your back. I usually put mine just up on a little bit of an angle. 15 seconds, try not to rock from butt cheek to butt cheek. You're staying nice and centered. That's it. Four, three, two, one. Beautiful job. Excellent. We are gonna st actually stay down on our back. Stay down on your back. Right here, heel down, toe up on the left foot. The right leg is gonna come up into the air. From here, I just want you to push all the way up and down. If you want, you could take a weight and put it across your hips. If you want, you don't need to. So right here, I'm pushing my hip up as high as I can. Heel is down, make sure your toe is up on that supporting leg. The leg that's doing the work is the leg that's on the ground right now, if you didn't know, if you don't feel that. You should feel this from probably your calf right up into that left butt cheek. That's it. Up and down. In two seconds, we're gonna hold it up. I want you to hold it up. Hold it. You can do this. This is mind over matter. You're holding. So my, there's, no, there's space here. I'm lifting my butt up. Keep holding it. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. 
gonna stretch out that hamstring on that supporting leg. We're gonna switch legs. This is our 10th exercise and we're gonna take a break. Right leg down, the heel is down, toe is up. I'm just pulling my shirt tight so you can see my back lifting, hopefully, from here. And lift, so you can see there's space here, and down. My heel is down, my toe is up on that supporting leg. You don't wanna be in here, it's not gonna work the same. Up and down. That's it, lift it up. Keep going, you can do this. Feeling that in the glute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just hope that you all said, oh my goodness, I really feel that. Right, the back of that leg, the hamstring right up through to the glute. Good, five seconds and we're gonna hold it for 15. You can do this. Ready, hold. Hold it up, breathe. Try not to use your elbows on the floor. Keep your elbows up if you can. That space stays between your tailbone and the floor. Oh, it's burning. Push the hip up higher. Three, two, one, and relax that down. Good, bring that in, stretch it out. That's our first 10 done. Good job, everyone. Grab a sip of water, please. Oh, stretch out what you need there. Grab a sip of water. Ah, good job. And there you have it. I really hope you enjoyed that workout. I'm feeling that in my glutes and my legs. I'm feeling that in my abdominals. I love that feeling and I hope you are too. And please remember, if you like this video, to please give it a thumbs up below. That way I know you like it and I can create more for you. Make sure you comment if you have any questions, any suggestions. I read all comments, all suggestions. I take everything and I make it work and I provide you with everything that I possibly can. Make sure you hit the red subscribe button so that you subscribe to my channel so that you know whenever I upload those new videos. Please go and make it a fantastic day. Live your healthiest life. Live your best life. And I will see you next time. Take care.